Hey, Grandma. Hey, you guys, he brought you right up the front steps of my studio. And look behind me, you get to see some of my irons. I collect these irons when I teach someplace. I like to get an iron and I just love them. And so I have a bunch, they're fun, aren't they? Come on into my studio. All right. So today we're gonna to film block two. We're at block two and I'm just really excited about it. So let's see what we've got here. So it is month two and we have two blocks for you today. They're very similar, so they won't be hard at all, but this is your little box. You should have a number two on it and you should have it. So we're gonna open this up and see what's inside. All right, right here, of course, with the cute tissue and we've got this wonderful um, star patch pattern right here. And we are actually making two blocks. So we're making the four patch star and the star patch block. And these are, these are those two right here. So we have this one right here and we have these little ones right here. Now you're gonna make four of these and you and I are gonna sew through the whole thing. So I actually, this is my box where I started sewing these. I have some fabrics in here, and I, but this is what you're gonna get right here. And so we have a little two and a half inch background. We have some strips here of uh, background color and this pink strip, and they're already cut for you, so that's really awesome. We have little squares already cut, so you're just gonna be able to sew these together. That's gonna be really fun. These bigger blocks here are gonna be for our star legs, and we will go through all of this as we go along. And then this also is for the other blocks. So they separate them, which I really like because you know, you wanna do, you wanna do it just like they have it on here. And so the first block we're gonna start with today is our big uh, four patch star. And these, we're gonna make four four patches for the middle and we're gonna make eight of these legs right here. Now let me show you where it is in the quilt. This is it right here. And uh, the star is, I mean, it's just so quick and easy. You're just gonna be amazed at this. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna make our star legs. Now you're gonna need eight of these. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a background square right here and a colored square right here. Now we're gonna work on the wrong sides of these. Let me press them so they're nice and flat. This one has a bunch of little fabric fluff on there and I'm gonna press this one as well. And we're gonna put these right sides together. Now to make, our, um, to make our half square triangles for the legs, you know there's lots of ways to make half square triangles, but we are gonna do this so that it, um, we, you get eight at a time. And I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna move these things out of the way. Actually, we should probably look at the directions, shouldn't we? Okay, so I'm doing it right. I'm doing it just like they wrote it. So the first one we're gonna do is we are gonna draw a line both directions like this. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed last month and you got yours done and you're ready for this. I, uh, I was pretty excited about last month. I love seeing how everybody's using different fabrics. You know, that's really fun to me. And um, so I'm drawing a line corner to corner. Sometimes I get talking and I forget to tell you what I'm doing. So I'm drawing a line corner to corner. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sew a quarter of an inch from uh, on both sides of these lines. Now, one of the things that um, people always say to me, how important is that quarter of an inch? What's mostly important is that you're consistent. So I sew, I use the edge of my foot, my presser foot as my marker and make sure your blocks are lined up. And I set that on here. And I'm just going to sew along here. Let me make sure I'm, oh, I did, I, my, I unthreaded my needle. Sometimes that happens. All right, so let's go back to the beginning, pull out my, my foot tends to slip a little bit. So I'm just gonna sew down the side of this line. Now, because my little presser foot is pretty narrow, my quarter of an inch is gonna be a little narrow, but we're gonna square these up, so no stress on that. So I'm gonna sew down here, and then I'm just gonna flip this around and sew down the other side. Then I'm gonna cut my thread, and I'm gonna do the same thing on the other line. So sew down. And then we're gonna sew down this side too. All right. 
right, so now what we're going to do to make eight of these is we're actually going to cut this four different directions. And so we're going to start by cutting it in half like this. And now if you have a rotating mat, that's awesome. If you don't, let me just show you this wonderful trick right here. Look at this, rotating mat. <laughs> I'm just kidding you. Actually, it works really good. If you have a small mat, don't ever feel like, you know, you don't want to be cutting or doing something dangerous with your rotary cutter where it could slip or something. So just make sure that you cut it, you turn it so that it, it works for your hand, what, you know, however you're cutting. And so I've cut it in half both directions. Now I'm going to cut it on the diagonal both directions like this. And I'm going to cut it on the diagonal this way. And I'm just lining it up corner to corner and making sure they go. So what that gives you right there is it's going to give you eight half square triangles that are all sewn together. And so now we want to square these. Now if you're going to use the Clearly Perfect slotted trimmer, these are going to be four and a half. So it comes two pieces like this and the Clearly Perfect slotted trimmer has a four and a half in line and you're going to put your stitch line on, um, on their stitch line. So here's our little stitch line right here. We're going to match that up on our block right here. And we are going to hold that down and trim that off. And I'm going to do uh, a couple of these this way. So on the tool thing, I know you've heard me say this before, but let me just say it again. If you have a tool that makes sense to your brain, it will be your quilting. It'll be so much easier for you because your brain will relax and you'll just be able to sew. I had a hard time squaring things for a long time until this ruler came out. And now that I know I can lay my stitch line on their stitch line and just trim both sides, it makes it so easy for me. So I'm going to do four of them this way. And this one, I don't, I, I don't know if you saw that, but I, I actually matched up perfectly on this side. So I only had to trim one side. So I have four of these like this. And then the other one, I'm going to do the block lock so you can see how to do that. So let's make sure this one lines up and trim it over open like this. All right. Hey, Misty, will you come press these for me? I got Misty, Misty in the house today. And, Happy uh, to help. And here, if you'll press these open, All right. I made you a little nest right there, so you have your own little nest. Perfect, I love and it. And then if you're going to use the block lock, what we're going to do is we're going to press these open first. So with the Clearly Perfect slotted trimmer, you don't press open. With the block lock, you do press open. And so use whichever tool works best for your brain. Misty, which is your favorite? I prefer the block lock. You prefer the block lock? I do. So does Natalie. And I think those are a little bit more analytical brains. Maybe, yeah. Uh, you know, because you guys are a little more uh, math smart that way <laughs> than I am. So with the block lock, the way I remember to do this, and for Natalie and Misty, this isn't even a thing, but because this isn't um, exactly brain friendly for me, uh, but I can make it work. So I'm going to show you, and for those of you who have this, don't feel like you need to run out and get this because this will work. But the way I do it is I always press to the dark side, which means I'm going to press, I'm going to press with my dark on the top and roll this back so that my seam is now on the dark side. What that's going to do for me is that if I did press to the other side, if this lighter fabric were a little thinner, you could see that seam through that. And you just, you know, it just makes it a little more cleaner looking to do that. So then what I do is I remember that these words go on my background fabric and this has a little shaved edge on it right here. So you just kind of put that up and you just kind of squish it in there. It won't move. And I'm going to pull this as far down to the edge as I can and then just cut around it like this. And this is going to make it nice and straight. And so I'm going to do that to all four of these. Now, if you were, and, and this, is what, this is what trips me up a little bit. Oh, this one is perfect. Look at that. I'm just going to trim off the little dog ears. Most of mine have been just exactly right, too. Awesome. So on this, on this right here, if I were to put the words on this um, dark side, because of the way it's pressed, it, would, it doesn't lay right. You like have a big edge over here hanging off. So if you ever find yourself cutting off a lot, stop. Don't cut. Take a look at it and make sure that... Um, it's going the right direction. You know, flip it around and try it on the other side. <gasps> this one is perfect too. You guys, I'm becoming a perfect, a perfect half square triangle cutter. 
This is like a little miracle. <laughs> you know what? I need a I need a better blade. Let me see. Let me try this other rotary cutter here. You know, one of the most dangerous tools you can have is a rotary cutter that isn't quite sharp enough. Um, I feel like on that my my rotary cutter that I just put over there, I feel like it has a little bit like I maybe I ran over a pin or something because it always just leaves one thread attached. All right. So we are going to see how this is. This is pretty close as well. So I'm, um, oh, I didn't even need to trim that. I didn't cut anything. There we go. Just trim a little dog ear. All right. Now to get this ready for our block, what I'm going to do is I am going to sew two of these, or uh, two sets of these like this. So that our, these are our star legs and we're gonna put the white colors together. So I'm just gonna sew two of these like this. And make sure when you lay them down next to each other, make sure that they're, you know, you have your color on the same side and your white on the same side. Make sure they're lined up nice. And then we're gonna just sew a quarter of an inch down here. And just so you know, when I sew, uh, when I do the legs and I sew on the either side of the line, I just use my, my presser foot. But when I sew these blocks together, I have a little line on my sewing machine, which you probably do also, that is marked with the quarter of an inch. And so, so I make sure that that's right. You want to get, you know, when you're sewing seams together, you want to be consistent and you want them to be on the same. Will you iron those for Absolutely. me? Absolutely. Okay, so these go together. The whites go together. This is going to make two of our star legs. And we're actually going to do this to all four of our blocks. I mean, to all eight of our blocks because the star legs have to be joined on all four sides. So we're gonna sew all of these together like this. So when you draw a line, uh, when you make half square triangles like this, they come out to four and a half, which we squared them to, so they're, the, so they're nice and square. And so you're gonna have to have some corner squares for this block, which means they have to be the same size as these blocks, which means they are also going to have to be uh, four and a half. So I'm gonna cut, use one of these and cut my corner blocks four and a half. I should look at my pattern and see if I do this yet. Oh, they don't have me doing it yet. Should I cheat? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go ahead and cut these four and a half. So I need four blocks that are four and a half, and then we'll be ready to put them together when the pattern says, my rulers flipped over and because these rulers are etched, not painted, it actually gives it a little more uh, sticking power, I think. So four and a half, and then I'm gonna cut again, four and a half, like this. And now I'm gonna turn these and I'm gonna stack them, line them right up on top of each other. And again, I'm gonna cut four and a half. And when I'm cutting, see these little, the little pinked edges right here? I kind of let, I put my four and a half just on this side of those little pinked edges. And then right here I have a straight edge, so I just line it up on the line. And then you can also check your line by making sure that your lines are lined up top and bottom, and that, that will give you a nice square block. All right, so these are ready to go when we need it. Now we have to make our center, and our center is, um, wait, where's my little patches? Right here, this is our center. And for the center, now, this is one of the things that I really want to talk to you about because it doesn't have to be just like this. If you want it to be just like this, it can, but it doesn't have to be just like this. The star, you know, nobody's going to go to your quilt and, and look at the picture and go, oh, you have a blue where a pink should be. Nobody's going to do that. So don't stress over that. Like if you get one that's like the wrong direction or whatever, don't stress over that. So I'm just gonna open mine up and see where they go here. Cause I am gonna try and do it right for you. <laughs> just, cause, just cause, you know. So I'm gonna lay all these colors out here so I can see them. And we're gonna make four patches, which means I'm basically gonna be sewing two of these together at a time. So it looks like here we have the pink and we have the dark green. And then we have a gold, probably this, this, uh, orangey gold and this purple. So I'm gonna chain piece these through, which means I'm gonna line it up on my quarter line and I'm just gonna sew these. 
And let me move this for you. Let me, let me just, take it? Yeah, that'd be great. And I'm just gonna sew these and get these, um, these two done. So because right here you can see I've done the pink and the green and the purple and the orange, I'm just gonna do these two. And we are going to open this up like this and see how they just, um, they're in the right spots, you know, for this. So I'm just gonna put these together now and I'm gonna line them up and I'm gonna make sure that one seam allowance goes one way and one seam allowance goes the other way and that my, my beginning is right together and my end is right together. And that's gonna make a little four patch and we're gonna make four of these for the middle of this star. So it's basically gonna be a 16 block. Again, there are lots of ways to do this. Could you iron that for me? Yep. And lots of ways to make this happen. So, um, so if you want to sew your holes, like all these on one side, you can do it. It's not going to change the fact that we have a four patch. So let's lay this out here like the picture. And uh, we're going to put it right here. And then we're going to lay all the rest of our squares out to make sure we get them in the right place. Because some of these colors, you know, they're pretty close. And to be fair, it doesn't matter. Make four, four patches, sew them together. It's going to make a 16 block. It's going to be perfect. But if you want to do it just like the picture, you're probably going to want to lay them out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay mine out here and I have a gold and I have a green. And then we've got this chartreuse color here and a purple. And then we're, go we're down in the bottom four and we've got another one of these kind of light. Actually, yep, that's actually probably going to be right. See how close those are? That can be really confusing. Here's our orange. Going to go there. And then we're going to do another pink and green down here. And then over here we've got, let's see, we've got the purple. And we've got the, this reddish, pinkish color. And I want to tell you that these are um, Alice in Glass Sun Prints from Andover. And they are beautiful. This is a beautiful line of fabric and they're just so happy and colorful. So this looks pretty close to the picture. So we're gonna sew it up and let the chips fall where they may. Now we're living dangerously. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these, cause I've laid them all out like this. I'm actually gonna sew this whole row together. I know we're living on the wild side now, but I will be able to make, um, I will be able to chain piece these, which means I'm putting two together and lining them up. That's going to be one four patch, but I'm going to go ahead and put these together as the next four patch right here. And then one here. And then we'll stop and make these four patches so we don't, we don't confuse ourselves too much because that may not be a thing for you, but it truly is for me. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open these up and I'm going to make sure I'm still in the right place. And I am, and I'm gonna fold them over and stitch these together. Now what I'm gonna do again is I'm gonna line up this very first edge right here, just exactly. And then I'm gonna make these two seams go opposite directions and that's called nesting. And so I'm gonna start and what I'll do then is I lift these open and I make sure one seam goes one way and one seam goes the other. And I look to make sure they're just right together there. And I'm just gonna sew down the side. You'll get to where, like me, I can feel with my finger that there's no opening in between those. And, um, and that's what you want. You want no opening. All right, so then we're gonna put these, same, same, where we're gonna line them up. And then if you're lucky, like me, you're gonna hand these off to be pressed <laughs> open. And I'm gonna sew this other one together here. Now Misty's using a little bit of um, Best Press, which is like a little starch spray. We, we use flatter, we use the Best Press. Some people like the starch in the can. Um, you can also use your steam with your iron and you can also use, a, you know, a, um, uh, a mister bottle. You know, I have a mister bottle over here that I use all the time that I love. And uh, so just, you know, sometimes a little bit of Something wet, you know, just encourages it to do what you want it to do. All right, now I'm gonna try and put these right back where I got them from, this one right here, so let's make sure. So turn, this is gold on the outside, green on the inside. So I'm gonna sew these two together. And again, we're just sewing the two and a half inch squares, so we line up the first one. 
take a few anchoring stitches, lift it open to make sure that your seams are going opposite directions. Now this seam is not going in opposite direction, which I'm going to show you what to do about that. I'm going to push it over with my fingers because I don't want that bulk. And so I'm going to push it over with my fingers like this. So see right here, we have this little fold right here. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my little scissor and I'm just going to clip that, not clip the stitch, but clip that, and then it can lay down. So then when Misty presses it, it will lay down nice. So go ahead and press those. Mm -hmm. Let me get these lined up. Make sure I'm there. That's right. Put these together. And I'm going to make this one. So this is what happens when you have a magnet watch band. <laughs> Clip this one. All right, now I'm going to press this one back right here. And let's see how we got this now. Make sure we got this going the right direction. Oh, this is on this side. This is on this side. Now let me look at this. All right, Misty and I have both pressed our seams going the same way, so I'm going to press it the opposite way right here, which means now this seam is going to go down and this seam is pressed up. So see how they, they press together, and that will help them lie nice. So what we're going to do now is we're going to lay these together like this. And we are going to sew these little four patches. And this makes a 16 block. And let me see here. We're going to do these things. And there's lots of little seams to line up. What I like about all the little seams is it keeps you exactly going the right direction on all your, I mean, lined up. So all your little parts are matching because you you know, every time you nest, you create a little, you create, you know, where it comes together, it's just perfect. Oh, <gasps> mine is. Now, on mistakes, if I were to make a mistake here and this was not perfect, what I would do is, like if this were just a hair off or something like that, which mine actually looks pretty good, but if it were hair off, I would go ahead and probably put my block together unless it bothered me. If my eye goes right to it like three times, then I take it out and fix it. If it doesn't and I have to search to find it, I am not, I am not gonna worry about it. All right, now we're ready to add our legs and your legs should fit exactly to your block like this. And because we went ahead and cut our corners already at four and a half, we can put those in up here. And this is how you're gonna lay out this block. And I rarely lay out my blocks like this because I've done them so many times. What I do is I take my two side pieces and I sew to the middle like this. And I'm going to put one of these on either side. Okay, now here's a good little teaching moment right here. All right, see how this isn't perfect right here? When I put this on here, I know that this, if I sew a quarter of an inch, this is going to get caught in that quarter. And nobody's ever going to know that that kind of swooped in. Also, right here, I want to show you right here. So see where, Isaac, you might have to come in real close on this to see. So see where these two threads cross right here. So I have a thread going this way, and I have a thread going this way. When I come across here and sew, as long as I hit that point or stay on that side, I won't lose the point of my legs. So that's how you keep your little points so you don't lose them. And I'm just going to sew down here a quarter of an inch. And I have been known to like swerve a little so that I catch that point. But it looks like I don't have to swerve on here, but I want to keep my seam going that right direction. And then I'm going to make sure these are lined up. And I'm going to put the one on the other side like this. if I can do this so I don't lose my point. Now, if you lose your point, it's not the end of the world. No one has ever checked to see on my quilts if my points are perfect, I'm pretty sure. Maybe someone has. <laughs> but if they have, I don't know, they might just be disappointed. All right, so now what we have to put the other sides on, which means we're going to add a block to either side of this, uh, these two little legs right here. And so I am going to sew my corner blocks on these. Make sure that stays lined up. And a corner block on this one. And then put my corner. 
corner blocks on this one as well. Now, let me see. You want to iron those to the, uh, those blocks are going to go to the, wait, I can't tell. I don't know yet. We'll fix it when we get to it. All right, here we go. Sometimes I don't iron till the end because then you can really make everything go the way that it wanted to go. So here's this right here and you can see we're going to line it up here. We're going to hit this joint and we're going to hit this joint and we're going to make sure our seams are going. So, so on this one I pressed these squares to the outside. These ones are going to want to be pressed to the inside. So I'm going to go ahead and sew those down before I press them. You can do it either way. Misty has hers pressed over there for me, that, the other leg, so it should go together real nice. And I'm just going to, you can feel that that's nested. I'm going to line up this one. And this one too. Now, as, the, as long as your quarter inch seams are fairly accurate, this is going to go together really nice. Look, we're almost there, one set of legs. Now, see this right here? See how this is off a little bit? I think I can still catch that in the uh, quarter inch seam. I might lose my point a little bit, but um, if you're really worried about that, what you can do is you could slide this, you know, you could take out this seam, slide this fabric up to the top. I sewed it from the bottom to the top. You can slide it from, or s take out the seam, slide that part up, and then, um, then the difference would be here at the bottom and you would be sure not to lose your point. I am going to live a little dangerously. I'm just going to see if I can do it, see how good it comes out. Uh, I am not about uh, total perfection. I am about pretty good. I'm about pretty good. But I do not I don't know how to make it perfect. That's just not part of my not part of my personality. So see, I'm watching this right now. I'm watching this because this is this this uh we're gonna lay this seam on this side but see how this lines up here i'm gonna be able to fit that easy in my quarter inch seam so i'm just coming along here watching where i hit the crossover and i think you're gonna be surprised it's gonna come out pretty good all right let's press it actually let's look at it first Look at that. That's pretty good. So I'm good with that. That does not bother me in the least. And we are one and done. This is block one. We finished the biggest block. And I feel pretty good about this. Like, ta-da about this. That looks pretty good, doesn't it? It looks awesome. All right. So the next block we get to make for the month. Oh, oh wait, gotta, actually. Gotta sash it. I gotta sash it. One more thing. I didn't turn the page. So <laughs> let me just turn the page. All right, so now right here, you can see, this gives you actually all the colors so you know exactly what colors go where. Then we're gonna put a sashing on the side. Now what I wanna do is I wanna make sure that my colors are still oriented the right way to put that sashing on, on. Will that matter? No, because if your star is turned the other way, it's still gonna look beautiful and you're gonna have a sashing on a side. You know, last time I put the sashing on the wrong side and I changed it for you, but in, in retrospect, I don't think it really matters. All right, here's your little piece right here. And it's a 16 and a half, one and a half by 16. And it looks like it goes on the gold, green, orange, green. I'm being much more careful. I'm going to clip off my um, little selvage edge right here. And I'm going to sew this on. Now, if you do this like I'm doing it without cutting it to 16 and a half, 16 and a half, is that right? 16 and a half. You just want to make sure that your sashing piece is on top. The feed dogs on your sewing machine will take in more fabric. So if I were to turn this over and sew it on this way, it wouldn't, it wouldn't lay flat. It would get a little wonky. So I'm just going to go ahead and sew this on because I believe in my 16 and a half inch uh, piece. Quarter inch seam. And the nice thing about doing these things now is that um, when we're ready to start putting these blocks together, all these little pieces will be done. All right, I'm just gonna trim this off. 
Misty, I'll let you iron this back. It's going to open up just like this. And we are going to start on the other ones. So the other ones, these are them right here. And I've done two of them uh, because they're the same thing over and over again. And so we, you and I are going to make the last two of these together. And I have them right here. And I have these right here. So get out your little pieces. Yours are going to look like this. Here, I don't know what to do with that. Um, yours are going to look like this in this little bag, and you're going to have these other little pieces in your box. And, um, and we're going to do some bordering of those, some of those little stars as we get to them. So we're going to put this pattern in our fabulous pattern keeper from month one, and we're going to look at our star patch block from month two. So, uh, so we're going to open this one up, and we are going to make our star patches. So um, I'm going to start with the green block. I've done a couple of blocks already and I'm going to start with a green one. So look at your colors, make sure they're lined out. So we have a red and a chartreuse and a green and a goldy color. And I'm going to sew that um, four patch together. And so I'm starting with my top two. Again, it's just like we sewed the other four patches. This one is a little bit wonky. Wonky, that's a technical term. <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm sewing these two. Make sure I still got it on. Oh, I can flip it over. Whew, I did that on the wrong side, but you can flip them over because we're only doing two at a time. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this apart and open it up and make sure it's going the right way. So red and green this way and blue and gold this way. Correct. So now I'm going to sew these together and then I will let Misty press this. And we will get started on those legs. So just one little four patch for the middle, and now we have the legs. Now, when you open your pack, you'll see you have eight of the same color together, and those are your legs. You're going to have orange, gold, uh, green, and what's the other one? Oh, this yellowy color right here. And so you're also going to have a packet of these little uh, two and a half inch squares right here. And because we have um, two inch squares on our little corner, of our star right up here. When I looked through these, some of them had like a flower right in the middle or a bird right in the middle. And when I came across those, if they had a little thing on it that I thought would be cute in the corner, I like set it aside and was like, you know what? See how this one has that cute little flower? I'm just gonna set that one aside because the rest of these we're gonna cut in half to make four patches. So I need four of these. Let me look and see. That's kind of a cutie. And so um, now I need eight legs. These are two and a half inch squares. And so on eight of these, I'm gonna draw the line corner to corner and sew on that line. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'll count those again. I think I was uh, putting and looking for my ruler and trying to do too many things at a time. All right, so I've got just a regular pen here. Lay, lay your ruler corner to corner. Now, if you don't want to draw the line and you want to iron the line, you can do that. Um, you will just want to make sure that you iron them uh, this way, wrong sides together, so that you're sewing in the valley, not on top of the mountain. And so there's one, two, three, four. Oh, that one's a little off. Now, on a block this little, a little off matters. So make sure that you're like right corner to corner on that stitch line because that's going to matter. And if, you're, if, you're, if your ruler is a little fat, <clears throat> make sure you just scooch it a little bit. You know, you just want to make sure that this goes corner to corner like this. And I have no idea how many I've drawn the line on on these. So I'm just gonna start sewing my greens and see if I got enough. And then what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that these are lined up exactly because if this is off, it's still not gonna equal your correct two and a half because whenever you want, when you wanna make a half square triangle with a square and you want the square to remain the same size. So we, this is two and a half, we want it to remain two and a half, a two and a half inch half square triangle, then you sew on the line. If you sewed on either side of the line, this would reduce it by a half an inch. So you just, you know, if you want your block to remain the same size, which we do, um, you want to sew right on the line. 
Now, in the last block of the month uh, on the Facebook group, there were lots of people who made tiny little ones with the piece they cut off, which I think is amazing. All right, so I'm gonna sew on the line of eight of these. I'm gonna put these over here closer to me, line them up, and I'm just gonna chain piece these through like this. And we are gonna do all eight. Make sure they stay lined up and square. I'm really enjoying that Facebook group. I hope you guys are too. It's pretty fun to see what everybody's doing. I love seeing everybody's different fabrics. I am also making one in red, white, and blue. You know, when you make one of these, and this is so dang cute, right? You can't help but make it in other fabrics, but people are doing them in, oh, I've seen Christmas, I've seen a, I've just seen all different colors, and I just think that's really fun. I mean, this bright, happy one is going to be so beautiful, but if, if one quilt is good, well, two is even better, right? <laughs> all right, now we shouldn't have to square these if we sew. If our line is accurate and our... Um, if our line is accurate and our squares were matched up, we shouldn't have to square these. So we'll just see how we did. Now I'm going to go ahead and um, I have one of these. Do you guys, have you guys seen these? These are so cute. So this is like a little, it's from Clover and they're like little cutters and you can wear them like a necklace. So like if you take it, if you do handwork and stuff on the airplane, this is not scissors, but I mean my, um, a friend of mine made the, this little block to put mine in and, and that literally you can just do this. So I like these little. Uh, thread cutters and I think this little clover one is beautiful all right now if you want to know if your block is still going to say square you can fold this back like this and take a look you know finger press it and take a look and see if you lined up corner to corner if you did you're good to go so I this one looks pretty good I'm just going to cut off that side let Misty press these back and I'm just going to trust that they're all pretty good you notice I did not say perfect. <laughs> Doesn't have to be perfect. It has to be pretty good. All right. Now, some of you guys are going to save these and make tiny ones. You go. You go. All right. So now we've got our little <laughs> we've got our little four patch in the middle and we need to put some legs on it. Our legs again are gonna be sewn together just like the other one where we put the whites together like this, wait, like this. And that's gonna make our legs. So I'm gonna start sewing those together like this. And um, sew my quarter of an inch. I've got my lights, my background fabric together. There we go, here's some of those. And we're gonna do we need eight legs, so we're going to sew four sets of these together. And we're going to try to keep this star point up here together on the top. And there we go. Took a few turns to get that one to line up. And All right, so now we're going to sew these last two together. Now on two of these again, like uh, the big one, we're going to put corner blocks on. So I'm going to add my little corners on here. Oh, here they are up here. And some of these were my cute ones that had cute things in the middle. This one has a shamrock. I'm going to put that on here for the green. And I'm going to do that to two of these. Misty, can you iron those open? Mm -hmm. And we will just add those to the sides. So when you're adding your, sham your shamrocks, <laughs> when you're adding your cute corners to your uh, block, you can just do one side of both like this and then flip them around and do both of the other side. Oh, that's like a little rainbow. So can I just say that I think fabric designers are amazing. The fact that they can come up with all these different things. I think that's so amazing. Let me make sure. Yep. All, the, all of a sudden, you know, here you have that gut feeling like there's no thread in there. I was wrong. There was thread in there. 
All right, Misty, if you wanna, if you wanna um, go ahead and iron those. And I'm gonna attach my legs now. And I'm, again, I'm gonna still keep my block oriented the way it should go. And I'm gonna put these on either side. Now on this one, you'll notice, this is just a hair bigger than, um, than the top. And when that happens, this is a really good trick. If you have a side that's a little bit bigger, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna put the big side on the bottom, big bottoms to the bottom, and you're gonna start it lined up like this. We're gonna sew down, and then we're going to line up the middle. And even if the bottom has, you know, it's a little bit bigger, it has like a little bit of an edge, the feed dogs will take that in. It will just ease it in and it will look like you did it perfectly. So I'm gonna do that on this side. So see how that is right there? It just comes out perfectly. And I'm gonna do that on this side too. And it's, so that happens if your quarter inch isn't perfect. You'll have a bigger side and a smaller side. And with any luck, it won't make too much difference. All right, so now we've got this one. And let me see which way she pressed these. She pressed those in, so I'm going to press these out. All right, so now we're ready to add our side pieces like this. And um, see how it's all the star legs, it's going to come together. And because we added our corner squares, then it, it forms a block. So I'm going to go ahead and put these on here and add this. And I'm going to look and make sure that mine line up. And then I'm gonna watch this star point right here. Make sure that I keep those points. And put the other one on this side. And again, I line up at every junction in every place where my things come together. I line up and it makes things, it straightens them up again. I'm gonna let you iron that. And I have one more to put together, the one with the yellow. And the reason I saved this one and didn't go ahead and do it is because I, there was a couple of pieces in my kit that looked like this. Do you see the little white edge? Now that, that is because when they, tr when they folded their strip and trimmed the salvage, a little edge of the salvage got in there. This is not gonna bother us because we are going to, we are going to cut half of this block off and that block will get cut half off. So don't die over that. Oh, I'm getting a call from my friend. We're just gonna mute her and let her come back to her later. So I'm going to go ahead and draw my line corner to corner like this. And I'm going to do one or two more because I have almost all the legs done on this. But when I saw that edge, I was like, now it shouldn't happen, but don't stress out about it because we're cutting half of this block off. So, and that's definitely not an intentional. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to line this up on here just like this, and I'm going to sew right down the square. Now, right up here at the top, there will be a tiny little piece that shows, but that's going to get caught in the seam. So don't die over that either. You know, we have to make do. We're make do girls. We have to make do with what we got and uh, make it work. We get what we get and we don't throw a fit. I used to say that to my children all the time. They like, mom, we know. <laughs> all right, there's that one. I'm gonna go ahead and sew the rest of these together. And Misty, if you could get my four patch ready for me, line it up and it should look like this. And then what I'm gonna do is when I trim these now, I'm going to look and make sure that the part I'm trimming off is this part right here. So we're gonna trim that side. And then this one the same. And this one didn't have that, so it's good to go. All right, if you could iron those. Yep. And then I'm gonna sew this little four patch together right here. And she's got it 
lined out for me. Now, if you, if you just grab your four patches and go and they're all different in the center, it's not gonna matter. Don't worry about that. Don't take anything apart. Um, just, yeah. I mean, I can't stress that enough. I mean, it's really, in, at the end of the day, it is not gonna matter. And the people who are doing like Christmas and, and red, white, and blue ones and you know, the different colors, you know, they don't even have a guide to go by and so it can be anything they want it to be. And that also makes it really fun. It, it's, a, it's pretty much a creative endeavor at that point. When I did my, my first star, I only used, I mean, for the first block, you know how it has all those colors? Where is that one? Right here, see it has all these colors. When I did my patriotic one, I just used two colors. So I really, I really went out of the box and broke all the rules on that one. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't, I don't really consider that breaking the rules. All right, so now we have these little ones. Again, we have to make the legs for it. And so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna sew all these together. Sets of two, you'll have four sets of two. Make sure your, make sure your whites are together or your background. Like this. Somebody asked me if, you know, there was more of this fabric available. There is, you can buy it by, you can buy yardage. You know, there's um, like, if you want more background fabric, if you want to get the backing fabric, if you want to, whatever fabric you want to get, you know, so you can, uh, you know, if you want to make another one or you want to make sure you have some extra, if you make a boo-boo or something like that, you can, uh, you can just do that. I'm going to leave two of these together. I'm going to sew my little corners on two of these. And I'll let Misty do her magic, and then I'm gonna sew the other pieces on. Once you start doing these, you're gonna be super surprised at how fast these go together. You're gonna to be like, holy smokes, I'm done. Misty, can you get me one more little two and a half inch mm -hmm. uh, square? <gasps> Did you see I almost sewed that on these? We don't want that on these. We want two squares on each one. And then I got one more here. Now, if you find yourself at all short, like you have, like you're missing a square, one thing I tend, I've done several times, I've sewn two of my squares together at once. So check that because that could be the deal. All right, here I got one more square here on the side. All right, here's these. I'll let you do that. And then I, now I'm going to sew my two star legs to the side. And oh, this one is way off. I'm not going to be able to catch that. So I'm actually going to take this one out and um, don't try this at home. <laughs> and I'm going to sew this from the top so that my star, my points are going to line up. That one would have bothered me. So if it bothers you, go ahead and pull it out and do it. Now I have no idea why they lined up the second time. Let me look and see if it worked. It did. It's still a hair off, but it's actually going to be fine. So I'm going to put it on here. Wait, what side? Make sure this is going the right direction. Purple and blue. There we go. All right. Come around and sew the other side. Make that line up. Now we're gonna put our, the other legs on to give it a four. Let's see, my points look very good. Can you see them? I'm making sure Isaac is showing you my good points. You know, we're proud of those points when we get them on there, right? All right, again, I'm gonna nest this up. One seam one way, one seam the other. And again, even though we've pressed it, sometimes the seams have to go the other direction when you get them on. That's all right, we'll just repress. Repress doesn't sound right. Press over, we'll press over. No, we're still good. Oh. I sew so fast on this, the thread will jump sometimes and it'll come right off that loop. 
going to make sure that's still attached. That's lined up. This one is together. Still have my point. Do you guys talk to yourself when you sew like I do? It's like I have all these little encouraging. You can do it. You can do it. <laughs> Good job, Jenny. <laughs> all right. Let's press this now. I'm going to grab me some, oh, here we go. Some of this, make a nice flat star. Now I want to show you um, on these right here. So see how, uh, you know, we're a little bit wonky here. I'm just going to kind of straighten up these sides because we are going to have to put a little bit of a piece of fabric on here. So I'm just going to kind of straighten them up. And what I do is I kind of match my ruler at the beginning and the end. And if there's a little piece here that just barely shows, I'm just going to shave that off. So it's not like I'm changing my block size. It's just kind of like I'm straightening it up so that it, um, it's a little more pretty. And then it will just, things will just lay much nicer. All right. So now what you want to do is you've got to look at these borders because our orange star right here is going to have a pink border. Now this border's cut for you one and a half and you, but you're going to have to, you know, you'll have to cut it to the size of your block. So let me cut my little selvage edge off here and let's look at the size this one is supposed to be. So it's a one and a half by eight and a half rectangle to both sides. When I do that, I'm going to cut them together because I know I'm going to have two, two strips that are going to be the same size on one side and two strips for the other. So stack your strips like this. And then if you have my good little ruler, what I like to do is, is uh, it's one and a half by eight and a half. And I actually, I can't do that with my little ruler because it's only seven and a half. So I'll do it with the big ruler. And I like to go like this. So I'm going to, it's one and a half right here, and I'm going to put it at the eight and a half right there. And I can see that it's like a perfect rectangle. And then I'm just going to cut this once like this. And so I have two of these for the sides. And then the other side is going to be one and a half by ten and a half. So let me cut those right now. Because each one of these little stars is getting a different little border or a, or a piece sewn on a side. So you want to look at that. And what I did was I look at the legs. The orange legs gets the pink border, one and a half by ten and a half. Look twice, cut once. All right, let's sew these on. I'm going to add both my sides. And by the way, this is the way you, uh, when you border a quilt, you do the same thing. You do the sides first and then your top and bottom. Now, if your star, if you notice that it's a hair bigger like this, again, you put, you can put that big side to the bottom, the big bottom to the bottom. I imagine there's going to be a few comments about that. The big bottom to the bottom. And then on this side. And normally I would always put my sashings and my borders on the top. But my block is a, just a hair short. So this adding these little, uh, little borders like this will square up your block if it's just a little bit off. And I guess mine isn't off once I lay it on there, but I try almost always to put mine on on the top. But if it feels a little bit bigger to you, then put your bigger piece on the bottom and it will square up your block. All right, now what I'm going to do is press these back and then add the top and bottom to this. The other thing I didn't do that you might want to do is you might want to look at your middle square and make sure that it's oriented the same way when you sew this together. Now, to me, that doesn't matter one tiny bit because I don't care if my seams are going this way or this way. When that block is in here, nobody's ever going to look and see if your seams go this way or this way. Nobody is. And so I didn't look at that at all, and I'm okay with that. But if that bothers you, that's something you want to make sure that you're... You know, there are rule followers out there. And if you are a rule follower, you want to make sure that you're getting those on the right sides with your four patch oriented in the right direction. I'm not even sure the colors of my four patch are the right colors. I'm not worried about it. Sarah Cray, um, she's a, she does Let's Make Art. And um, she always says, I'm not mad about it. <laughs> I love that. 
so. All right, now let's take a look at our other blocks. I'm gonna have Misty press that. Our yellow legs right here, we have an inch and a half piece across the bottom and the side. So see right here, across the bottom and the side. So our bottom piece again is gonna be eight and a half and we're only adding one this time. So um, I know my block is eight and a half because I just measured the other block. So eight and a half right here. All right, so I've got a one, one and a half by eight and a half. And then on this side, it's gonna be one and a half by nine and a half. So I'm gonna cut that. And I'm gonna stitch this to one side. And let me see what side I'm supposed to stitch it to. There's my purple up here in the corner. I'm gonna put it down here. All right, so I'm gonna stitch this one here. Now, you, you wanna watch on this. You'll notice we're sewing along the edge. So you wanna watch if you lose your point. Oh, I lost that one a tiny. That's okay. It's okay with me. I'm not going to die over that. But you want to watch. And if you want to watch and make sure that you come where those threads cross, then you'll put this one on the other side. All right. So let me see now. One and a half by nine and a half. Make sure that's right. One and a half by nine and a half. Yep, that's right. And so I'm going to put this on here. And mine looks like it's going to be just a little bit big so I'm going to put it on this way which means I'm going to be able to look at my points. So we're going to start here let the feed dogs do their work. I'll keep kind of a firm hand on this top one. I'm going to sew down here. Watch to make sure I don't lose my point. Perfect. Pretty sure those are going to come out just Oh, perfect. How did I do on that pink one? Did I lose any points? Uh, it looks really good. There's just a couple that get cut off. Don't tell. Just I won't. don't tell. Secret is safe with me. <laughs> Secret is safe. All right, let's see. Are those the only two we sew the, the pieces on? Looks like I have the yellow legs. Oh, no, the green legs. Get one on the top. So there's my green legs, and there's my top right here, and this is going to be a one and a half by eight and a half. Let me make sure from the one and a half inch strip, one and a half by eight and a half. All right. And I don't know if you guys measure like this, but this, this makes so much sense to me visually to come along here and see my one and a half by eight and a half. And then this is going to go on the top of this one. And I'm just going to so, and let me look at my points. Let me see how much room I have here. You know what? I'm going to be golden on this one. Let me make sure I got enough. All right. Now my, now my top, my little strip is hanging over a little bit. So this is a little trick. I've sewn half. I'm going to flip it over and sew the other half on the bottom because I want it to be exact. And again, the feed dogs will just take in that little extra. And let's look at it and make sure. See, no fold, no pleat, but that's gonna square up your block a little bit because maybe my block was just a little shy. All right, so here's that one, green. Now the other one is the uh, golden legs. All right, so the golden one looks like it has no uh, no strips around it at all, but I'm noticing that I have this two and a half inch piece right here still. And so I'm looking and look on our pink one right here. So on the pattern, you can see it has the two and a half on the bottom and another white one on this side. So don't miss that. So if you ever have extra fabric, you know, take a look at those because it's possible, you know, it could have been, it could have been on there and you not saw it. So I notice I'm like, wait a minute, I have this. So here it is on the bottom of the pink one. So on this pink one now, we're gonna add a, a strip over here and it looks like it should be one and a half by 10 and a half. And the bottom one should be two and a half by 11 and a half. So let's cut this one, one and a half by 10 and a half. And 
Now, if you were to happen to cut this wrong, let's say you made a mistake and cut it an inch short, what could you do? You could actually sew these pieces back together and recut it. You don't have to die because you don't have a piece. Don't, don't, if you, you know, if you have to do a little extra cut, just don't die over that. I mean, you know, if you have a little extra seam in there, that's probably one of my favorite things about antique quilts is when they made a mistake or they didn't have enough fabric, they would make tiny little seams to make that piece fit. I don't mind that one bit. All right, let me see, but I don't want to cut it wrong, so let me look again. Two and a half by 11 and a half. But if you did, let's just say, if you did and you had to put a tiny seam in this one, you know, to, to, make, to make the seam long enough, nobody's going to see that. Nobody's going to see it. All right, two and a half by 11 and a half. All right, so this one we're going to put on the side of this. I'm so glad I noticed that two and a half inch strip. And we're going to, I'm going to go ahead and flip this over and do it on the bottom. It's not that it's too long. It looks like it fits, but it looks like it's got a little bit of wiggle room. <gasps> I didn't look to see if I'm putting it on the right side. Let me look. Let me look here. We're on this side. Here's our pink over here. Nope, I'm putting it on the wrong side. Oof, there we go. Now, so it goes on this side. Let's make sure. Again, I'm pretty sure that wouldn't have mattered, but you know, I'm trying to do my best for you guys. <laughs> I'm such a shoot from the hip sewer. I'm like, it's all gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. trying to follow the directions and read the pattern. You know, you know me. I, I'm just trying my best. All right, let's see how this one's going to fit in here. Ooh, that's going to be perfect. All right, so now I'm going to sew this one. Wait, let me make sure it's on the right side. Pink at the top. This one, is, yep. First time, right side. I love it when a plan comes together. And again, these little borders, when you're making your block, these little borders are important to do now because when you go to put the quilt together, it's going to say, put this one here and this one here. So look how pretty this is. All right, let's see how they work in the quilt. Here's our gold one. Here's our green one. Here's our yellow legs. And here's our little bordered one with the pink right here. And so here's our big one right up here in the corner. And you don't have to worry about where they go yet for real because we're just going to put them in a pile and we'll put all those together in month 11. And, uh, and so we're going to put some extra comment on, try and answer you some of your questions, give you some more tips and tricks. So watch that Facebook group. Join that if you're not a part of that because that's a really, it's a fun group. Great, great quilters on there, lots of good ideas, and it's fun to see every, what everybody's doing and all the different fabrics. So thanks for joining us for the All Stars Block of the Month, month two, and we will see you next time.